That's a pretty good distance. For 19 and a half volts DC input. There she is. It's at least 2,000 turns of 32 AWG. Uh, it's my biggest coil yet. Um, it's being driven by one of the exact same Slayer exciters I've seen in my previous videos. see what the deal is and I'll actually light it up with this so you can see what it is it's the same circuit used in all my other videos this is actually an 11 turn L1 I can get it to work with a 4 turn and by moving it up and down the L2 I actually whoop, that starts to happen um, and it'll actually arc out to the L1 and the whole thing will catch fire so that's bad so it works off it works better off with this for now it decreases my chance of it breaking out between the two coils but otherwise as you can see I get real low so I'm out of the majority of the, the EMF but there it is the same circuit into the Toshiba laptop charger um, the 19.5 volt Toshiba laptop charger. Let me get a better focus on that. There we go. As seen in the other videos, and another similar type Torrid. Okay. And the Torrid is key, that really extends the range. So here we have the magic wand as seen in previous videos. And you get close in there and it starts breaking out off the wand. You can see this thing's really kicking out a lot of juice. Right, but I can get great results from fluorescent lights. Here's a story about this fluorescent light actually. I went to Lowe's today to pick this guy up. And lo and behold, not even gonna lie, this was sticking out one of the garbage cans on the outside. I guess somebody brought it to the store so they can match up their bulb type uh, so they can get a new one. Obviously, this thing was burnt out. I brought it in. My friends were like, No, you're not gonna get that to light. Why'd you take that out of the garbage can? Well, I did it for proof of concept. Here it is. Um, all these fluorescent light bulbs that go dead in Walmart and all the other huge. Uh, chain stores that use the 40 inch bulbs you know how they burn out um, they throw them away they, they usually last about four years or so um, but this thing actually rejuvenates them it re-excites re the gases within it and if I were to take this and put it back in its original fixture I can almost guarantee it will glow brighter than the other ones next to it because uh, I've seen this happen before I've actually done this with other bulbs um, at my work for the heck of it but this was dead so this guy was a freebie um, paid four dollars for this guy open item it was part of a two-pack I guess one of them broke and they still wanted to recover some margin so you'll be seeing me do more videos with these two guys now demonstrating range and output probably gonna start amassing a small army of them I also bought a small army of small traditional incandescent type bulbs um, I'm gonna try to string them together and see how many of those incandescent bulbs I can light wirelessly with this thing but I get some fantastic range off of this thing um, as you can see I'm pretty far from the coil 
and you just have it sitting there in the ground. That's a good few feet away. All right. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update to what was going on. It's been a few weeks since I put out a video, but rest assured, I will get back on my game, and you will be seeing more videos from Tesla Tronics. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.